Uh, oh man, oh man, I shouldn't have ate that taco cheese pie last night. Oh, oh god. Yeah. What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Playing some Ark Survival Evolve on the Pooping Evolve Mystic Pooping Server. You see my magical powers behind me? Fear! Wizard Gator. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great... Oh, I need that. I'm having a great day. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today, guys. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget to show your support and smash that thumbs up button. And if you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. So, a couple things. A couple things have happened. You know what? Let's go ahead and... Oh, I'll show you the first thing. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a channel update, well, stuff and things update, just so you kind of know what's going on in my real life. We don't talk about real life enough, but one of the things that has happened, hello, Pepto. Boy, you're a beautiful little bird. You're not little even, humongous. Let's go ahead and give you some hot hit points action. We got a bunch of levels on this guy. We're up to 2 million HPs, but feeding this thing bazillion to million pieces of meat is a huge pain in the butt. However, will we heal it? What's this? Dino 8X. Oh my god. Nailed it. I said can't be stopped. <laughs> so we've added a mod. And honestly, I don't remember the name of it. That is going to help us to uh, heal our dinos a little bit faster. I don't know if this has like a cooldown timer or not. Let's see here. If we just have two. No, there isn't a cooldown timer. So it's a little bit cheaty. A cooldown timer would probably be probably be good. Um, it doesn't really seem to matter. In Mystic Academy, all the dinos are either super easy or they'll just instantly one hit you anyway. So it doesn't really make that much of a difference if there's a cooldown timer on that thing or not. I figured we'd head out into the world and do a little bit of hot leveling action on our new guy, Ohm, while we talk about some stuff and things. Now I have to remember what those stuff and things are. I just got, uh, got up a, about an hour ago. It's early in the morning for me. And uh, yeah, so my brain isn't completely fully reformed from the night of sleep stuff and things. This guy is doing great. I don't, I feel like we're not getting a lot of experiences. Oh, hello, Spino. It's all over for you, stupid. It's all over for, wow, we got some hot lag action going on here too. All right, updated stuff and things. What's going on in my life? Well, thanks guys, thanks for asking. It's always good to have somebody ask you what's going on in your life because it just makes you feel like you're important. And I feel like that's really great that you guys care enough to send the very best. I mean, care enough to ask and see what's going on in my life. And I care about you too. What's going on? How's your sister doing? Oh yeah, that's good. Are we gonna get any levels? Uh, 210,000. Oh, baby. We need a lot of XP, hot XP action to get to the next level on this guy. We definitely want to keep our eyes peeled for some higher level, a higher level Tesla. And uh, just higher level other stuff and things in general. All right. Sorry. Sorry. I'm getting distracted by how amazing my guy is here. Uh, channel update stuff and things. Christmas is coming. Santa is coming. Did you, uh, did you know that Santa's coming? What are you? Nothing important. Santa's coming, and uh, yeah, my parents and my brother, Mazion, who plays on the server, and his son are coming down to visit us for Christmas, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be the first time that we have, like, family down here to visit. Uh, well, actually, that's not true. My parents were down, and we have had some people visit for short periods of time, um, but for a holiday. Like, we're going to host a holiday for your... For the people who understand that, grown-up people, you understand this is a big deal. We're going to be hosting the Christmas holiday here at the new house, and it's going to be quite a thing. My God, this guy's amazing. Also, why have we not got a level yet? I'm so confused by that. Um, but yeah, so my folks are coming down, and that means that I'm going to be taking a little bit of time off. Whoa. Torment was killed. Level 100? You're not even worth it. So I'm going to be taking some time off and I'm actually going to attempt to take uh, seven full days off in a row, which is, oh, oh man, I can't see, I can't see what's what over there. We might just have to kill them all. We'll just have to kill them all. Suck it all the things. So yeah, I'm going to attempt to take some time off. I'm going to attempt to take seven days in a row. That means that I have like something crazy, like 38 videos to get done in the next like 12 days or something like that, which very well may not happen. So 
what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is that you may notice that some stuff and things are different on the channel. You may notice that, God forbid, there is not an ARC video every single day. I know, I know. I'm going to do my best. But if there isn't an ARC video every day, there'll be videos every day for sure. But um, the last couple of times that I've taken time off, guys, I've just killed myself making videos. And it, it just gets to a point where... I, it just feels awful. Like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it to you. I get really frustrated. I get really tired. I'm working 12 and 14 hour days for like seven, eight, nine days in a row. And it's just silly. It doesn't, it's not any fun for me. Um, some of you guys don't notice, which is fine. What level are you? You know what? The guy who wrote this mod, I would tell you if I had to give you some feedback, the guy who wrote the super spyglass mod, I would make the level of the monster really big. So you only have to like mouse over them for a second so you can see the level of the monster and then you can just move on. So any who's oh yes, um, I'm not sure exactly how it's all going to work out as far as uh, videos go, but there may not be. Oh, what are you? 80. Mm, 80. Ah! So there might not be an arc video every day just so that you guys know. Um, and it just is the way that it is. Uh, it has to be that way. Oh, we're going to fight. Whoa, we're stuck, I think. Ooh, get out of there. So that's just a little bit of a channel update because I want to enjoy my time of level 20. What is even the point of it? 360? My God, these things are so... Every one of them. There's a 480 finally. Uh, I'm really looking for 600s though. Sorry, Bonnie. So, sorry about that, Whiskers. And we haven't seen a lot of level 600 guys in the area. I have seen very few of them, in fact, and we see, I see tons of low level, tons and tons of 80s and 40s and 60s and stuff and things like that. I'm really kind of wondering about the uh, the mathematics on the uh, the levels of these guys. It seems like there's a lot of them that are really low. See, there's another 40. Everything's low level. It doesn't make any sense. They're just garbage dinos if they're lower level. And it, I mean, honestly, that's what I kind of don't understand about the modded stuff and things. If you're playing on a modded server, I mean, are you even going to bother to tame up anything that's super low? I mean, with the Tesla, I did just because it was kind of all that we could do. Oh, I can't see this thing. I want to tame up one of these guys, too. But I have yet to see one of these Arthropleura deals. Oh, there's a 340. I have yet to see, like, a really high-level one. And we still haven't got a friggin' level yet, man. Oh, my God. I must have leveled this guy up a lot and not really realized it. Hello, thing. What level are you? 80! Ugh! So, watch me kill. One of these guys will be really high level. Ah, eh, 360. Not bad. So, I think that's kind of all the news that's fit to print for the update information. I don't think I have anything else crazy going on. If you guys haven't, I do want to remind you... Oh, I didn't see the level. What level are you? I really want a level 600 uh, Mystic Tyranodon. Super bad. But, um, I don't know if we really need one now that we have the Ohm Wrecker guy. The oh, Ohm Wrecker. The Ohm guy. So, um... Oh, crap. What was I going to tell you? I totally forgot now. Oh, high-level guys. Hmm. Oh, yes! There's one other piece of information that I... Oh, yeah. There's two things I wanted to tell you guys. So, um, yeah. We started playing a couple other new games in the last couple of weeks. What the frick? Planet Coaster and Slime Rancher. And I, I encourage you guys, if you haven't, to check out those series. I'm having such a good time playing them. Golden Dodo. Is the Golden Dodo good? I mean, I don't even know. What is the Golden Dodo good for? Peace out, Golden Dodo. So, yeah. And on top of there be... Whoa, I accidentally killed it. Okay. Is there anything in the inventory? <laughs> I'm sorry, homie. I'm sorry, Golden Dodo. Why, Cruel World? Why? So in addition to the new series that are on the channel, we're going to be playing some other new games coming up in the future here pretty quick. Um, but also, I have a surprise to show you back at the base. Oh yeah, give me some of this hot action right here. That's what I'm talking about. And actually, yeah, that's what's up. But I have a surprise to show you guys back at the base. So, I guess we didn't even get any hot level action on this guy. This might be as good as it gets for our old boy here. And I don't think I was taking a look through... Um, our information, our Engram stuff and things, and I didn't see in there any way to um, increase experience with a mod. I don't know if we have that in this pack. So, uh, that might not be a thing that we can do here. We're just going to have to level stuff and things up like olden times. You want some of this? You want some of this? Yeah, that's right. 
All right. So, like I was saying, I have a special thing, something, something to show you back at the base. I'm going to head on back, and I will be our bees, peeps. And we're back at base. All right, guys. You ready for my special surprise? Look what XB found. He found Greg. Hey, Greg. It's so nice to see you. How are you doing? How's your HP's doing? Not bad. He's not doing too, too bad at all. Oh, where did you go? How was your day? Oh, I missed you. Oh, yeah, no, it was great. It's great to see you, man. It's totally great to see you. It's great to have you back. It's definitely great to have you back. But we have Rip Greg now. So I'm not really sure why you're even a thing. We're going to have to find a use for you of some sort. Let me see here. What do we got? We're not doing... What are the, look at the statisticals. Hold on in here a second. Rip Greg is level 733. Greg is level 682. Rip Greg... This guy's got 900,000 health, 138,000 weight, and 7979 melee damage 800,000 health 86,000 oh way more melee damage that's what I'm talking about but I'll also let me see here how much xp oh something's going on with the with the reset xp when I finally did level on ohm I got a huge amount of levels so I'm not really sure what was going on with that I thought it was something was wacky so I don't know I don't know what's happening on the server sometimes stuff and things happen because a lot of times the thing that whoa hello a lot of times the things that you guys don't see is that behind the scenes when people are done recording or in the evenings, a lot of times we're messing with stuff or things break and things aren't working or we're trying to add a mod in and that breaks something. So I'm not really sure what's going on with the XPs. God, you're amazing looking. We need a better ohm. We need a way better ohm. We'll have to figure that out. But all right. So today we do have to get some technical stuff and things done. First things first. I want to eventually be able to spawn in the Poopsaurus. So we're going to need 200 human feces. Um, obviously, that's going to be difficult uh, to to do. I'm not even exactly sure how it's going to happen. But we're going to need to get some uh, stuff and things going on. We're going to need to get some hot power action. So let's take a look at this guy right here. We're going to need to make the panel workstation. We're going to need some hot metal ingot action and some wood. So let's just go ahead and grab some of these guys. And eh, we'll grab half. And uh, do we have any wood anywhere? I bet you I burned it all up in there. Nope. Nailed it. Escape. Stop. All right. So we're going to need the panel workstation so we can get some hot solar panel action going. We're going to need electronical stuff and things. All right. Panel workbench. I'm going to squirt that right here. It's really difficult to see in here right now. There we go. So there's our panel workbench. Now, to make our solar panel deals, we are going to need to have all sorts of stuff and things. Electronic cementing paste, we have crystal, we have metal, we have... But electronics, we're going to have to craft. And we take a look inside of here. It's the old... The old don't have the stuff and things. So we're going to need silica pearls, metal. We're probably going to need to start making some polymer, too. So that means that we're going to need cementing paste, of which I just picked up a whole batch load. Is this the Taming X? This is something that we're going to try. So, all right, we'll squirt that in there. We'll squirt that in there. We'll squirt that in there. So, um, I'm going to try the Taming X on myself to see if I can make myself poop a huge amount. So, we're going to see if that's going to work to be a thing. I have some human fikis right there. We're also going to need the freezer. Uh, whoa, do we not have it learned? Did it get pulled? Right there, learned freezer. Industrial workbench. Oh, I see how you are. So, we're going to need to build an industrial workbench. Which means, again, polymer, electronics, obsidian. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And we're also going to need to get into some hot teleporter action. Basically, today is, and that means we need electronics, polymer, blah, blah, blah. So it's a day of technological advancements. That's what we're going to have to work on today. We've also got so much Garbo. You know, oh, there's some of that and some of that. Uh, we'll store that right over here, probably. I'm thinking this would be a good spot. Rare flowers, silica pearls we'll put inside of this guy. But yeah, so I'm going to have to go out and start scavenging, gathering whole batches of stuff and things. I know that uh, XB said he's made some sort of a refinery up on the volcano. So we can take a look at that as well. We'll squirt some of this in there. Oh, we got hot rare mushroom action up our butts. So let's go ahead and stick that over in here. Okay, so I'm going to gather up all the stuff and things and I will BRBs, peeps. Hey, we're back after crafting up a lot of stuff and things, guys. Uh, so I made over here the industrial workbench, hooked a solar panel in the back there, and added two freezers in here to keep stuff and things cold. So I was thinking that this is where we would put our human feces, but we can't put our human feces 
like that. We can't put it in there, so we can't do that. So I was thinking that's be a good way that we could um, keep stuff and things fresh. But it, I mean, it's gonna last a pretty long time anyway. But yeah, so it didn't really work out. So we're not gonna be able to freeze our poops, which is ridiculous. Obviously, you should be able to freeze your poops. Uh, next order of business, we got the panel workbench up inside of this piece like so. Let's go ahead and we're gonna make one of these guys right here. And we are gonna set up the Jones egg and poop collector outside here. Cause our, our, our theory is, we're gonna test our theory here that we're gonna use this to collect our human poops, which actually, to be honest with you, I don't even know if Jones egg and poop collector collects human poops. We're gonna set this guy over here like so. We'll go ahead and grab our cable. And where are you gonna go, cable? You know what? We can just, that's fine. That'll work, that'll work perfectly fine. This is gonna be perfectly great and fine. And then we'll stick that right there like so. Jones Egg and Poop Collector. Can you set on the ground? Of course you can. Nail it is the cave is up. All right, sweet. It's on. We are officially collecting poop, ladies and gentle peeps. Now, the big question is, let's get this out of the way. Sorry, sorry, let's get this out of the way. Sorry, Poop Collector. Turn back on. The big question is, will the Taming X work on us? So, in order to make the most amount of poop possible, if this does work on us, I've collected a huge amount of meat. I've been cooking meat. I have 861 meat on here, and we have more inside of here right now cooking up as well. There's 892. Because the idea will be that if we use the Taming X, it's going to make us hungry. I don't even know if it's going to work on us. This could be a terrible disaster. I'm going to completely admit it, but we're going to see what happens. Because it's the only way. There's no other way to get this much poop. There's no other way to get it, because you got to figure, for this Poopasaurus thing, you need 200 poops. At 250, 50 for the friggin' saddle and 200 for the poop source. So I can only imagine that this is how it's gonna work. Um, all right, so that's it. Without further ado. Oh, yes! We pooped two times. Oh, we're not ready to defecate. Oh, we need to eat. Oh, it's working! Yes! Ha 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 ha! Oh, give it to me, baby! Oh, yes! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh! Ugh. Ugh. Oh, yeah! Baby! Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's just going now! Pick it up! Pick up all the the feet! Oh! Oh, it's like invisible their feces! Oh, no! Something happened. We like reached some sort of limit of fecal limit. We reached the 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 head of the fecal stuff and things. Are you working to pick up? Oh no, it's the poop collector picked it up. That's what happened. Oh yes, this is so great. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at it grow. The poops are growing. <laughs> this is the best thing that ever happened in the history of Ark. You know, I heard that there was a little meeting with the devs and they didn't know if pooping was going to stay in. I think that was the illusion. The illusion in the tweet that I saw was that they don't know if poop's going to stay in. Look, people, you have to understand what's good in a video game. And this is what it's good. This is the best thing that ever happened in the history of video games. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, you go super speed when you're standing up. This is so much better. Okay, let's check inside here. Oh, look at it all. It's working, baby. Is it? Is it not on still? S yeah, start collecting. Collect all my poops. What are you doing not collecting poops? All right, so I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to see how many poops we can get. <laughs> oh, I love this video game sometimes. I really do. Oh, it's almost over. <laughs> 10 minutes of this. Oh, God. Oh. Hey, we're back. All right. We've pooped our butts. Uh, Jones Egg and Poop Collector stopped collecting. I don't know why it stopped collecting. I feel like we might have overloaded it with human fecal matter. 
But yes, it just stopped collecting and it's not collecting anymore. I tried to like power cycling it. I tried all the good stuff and things that you do for your technologically challenged. I went ahead and turned it off. I turned it back on. I made sure the settings were set up the right way. Um, but yes, it is right now. Does it even say? It says stop collecting. That's it. It doesn't say what it's collecting, but it's collecting poop. So I'm picking up as much as I can. I'm pretty sure we have all that we need. I guess we could just always use another taming X if we needed to. So that was pretty much the best thing that's ever happened in the history of Ark. I'm just going to say it right now. Pick up one more piece. This way we have a super even amount. All right. So one, two, three of these bad boys. Let's go ahead inside of here. Let's craft the pooping saddle. Now, I don't know if this cup thing spawns in tamed or not. So I'm a little bit concerned. I won't lie to you. Um, all right. So there we have the poop Sora saddle. Let's go ahead and squirt this back in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got plenty of poop to make more poopasaurs if we want to. All right, we're gonna craft it. I hope use two a poop source. <laughs> use two a poop source. I think the guy forgot to say summon. Do we have any additional poops in us? No, we do not. All right, so we're crafting it up right now. Where's Greg? We gotta we gotta put Greg on the roof, maybe. We gotta get Greg a parking spot. Cause we just need Rip Greg and we need the ohm. Alright, so there's another poop. So let's head, <laughs> let's head down here. Let's get on the ohm. I don't wanna summon this thing near my base, especially it, like I was saying, if it comes unsummoned. I hope just crafting that thing doesn't make it summon it. Like, I'm assuming. There we go. Summon a poop saurus. Alright, so let's head over here. Make sure the beach is clear. We should be good to go. I see some mystic spawns over here every once in a while. All right, cause I'm assuming this thing might just wreck my face. I don't know how it's gonna work out. All right, here we go. Use item. Oh, did it work? No, nothing happened. Okay, we can't use it. Do we need to be unmounted? Please work. I've done so much stuff and things. Oh, there it is. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's just little. I thought it was huge. Hey, Poopsaurus. <laughs> I thought it was like a Bronto sized thing. It's like a little poop carno. Oh, how cute is it? <laughs> all right, all right, hold on. Let's put a saddle on it. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, you're perfect. Oh, yeah. This reminds me of the Horta from Star Trek. Cool people know what I'm talking about. Look at this huge butt, man. Baby got back. This thing is super slow. <laughs> this isn't even any good. Three, look at the span. Statistics are awful. 3,000 HPs, 1,700 stamina, 800, 483 melee damage, 167 movement speed. How much HPs do we get per pump? Oh, 1,000, huh? This is great. This thing's going to be so good. <laughs> look how happy it is. All right. Oh, is this another one of the golden? Look how slow it is. <laughs> <laughs> we need a poop bird now, man. All right, let's try to kill this Jodo. Let's see how much damage this thing does. Oh, what was it? Oh, 482. Oh, if we go in the water, will we dissolve? Oh, we float just like a poop would. Well, uh, wait, poop's high in fat float? Is that correct? I can't remember. There's a poop kind of that floats and poop that doesn't float. Poop that has fat in it, I do believe floats better than poop without fat in it. All right, so let me see here. I mean, I'm not a poopologist, but I'm, I don't know, I don't know quite a bit. Can we pick you up? Oh no, we can't pick up our Poopasaurus. Oh man. Oh, whoa, we got some mystic stuff and things going on over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What level is it? I can't see the friggin' level, 60. I'm looking for one of these Fire Anki deals that's actually a decent level, 140, oh. You know, I don't think I've seen one six hundred since I started playing, and I've seen a lot of six, uh, a lot of those fire ankies. All right, so look at our poopasaurus, poopsaurus. How are we gonna get him back to base? I mean, is he a good swimmer? Come with me, poopsaurus. Come on, homie. Oh, he's a great swimmer. It's probably because he's made of poop, so he's good at floating. All right, can we make it across the ravine? The crevasse. Come here, man. He like pauses. There you go. He's not too bright, probably. I mean, I don't know what the IQ of a poop is, but I can only guess it's pretty small. 
What lever to you there, big guy? Be a 600. 220, why? Oh, that legendary Ichthy is super interested in the poop Saurus. <laughs> Don't get attacked by anything, man. All right, come over here, homie. We gotta take you back to base. Hey, we're back at base with the poop Saurus. I love you. I wish he was usable. <laughs> He's not really usable in the area. Um, but I, it is kind of early game. If you got one Tamex, you could make one of these guys straight away and it would be a thing. So he's super, super cool. Let's go ahead and get on him. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. The poop Saurus. I mean, I really want more poop sources. We need a poop RG, a poop Bronto, all the poop stuff and things. We need a poop dough. Uh, <laughs> But I gotta tell you what, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. We got some hot technological advancements taken care of today. And we spawned in a poop source. And I gave you some channel update news stuff and things. So, yeah, thanks for coming to hang out with me, guys. Make sure you check out some of the other series on the channel. There's links on the screen. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and show your support, peeps. Feel free to share and favorite the videos you see fit. Oh, I was trying to make my poop poop, but I couldn't. And may the stuff and things be with you.